Yeah, all right, everybody, we are here today taking a look at a very special preview of Bramble the Mountain King, which might sound familiar to you. We actually covered this bad boy last year. It's part of a Steam Fest demo, if I'm correct. Today, we're taking a look at a very special internal build that's being distributed to some content creators out there to show off to you guys, and I happen to be one of them. But aside from that, Bramble's a game that I'm actually looking forward to in general, just as a player myself personally. I enjoyed the demo of this one quite a bit. It's the perfect mix of maturity, creepy horror, and it's a game that does not shy away from showing you the more sinister stuff. I mean, this is a game about children. Nordic fables, children involved with them, so bad things tend to happen to children in these fables. And this game will indeed have no qualms with showing you exactly the terrible things that happen. The nearby forest was a familiar place during the day. But at night, it was a different story. There was no trace of Lilimur, and Ulle wished he could ask the pine cones if they had seen her. But if the pine cones knew about her fate, they kept it to themselves. Now there is an introduction now of um, narration, which I don't think was part of the demo that we played beforehand. Now, since the demo that we covered last year, Healing the bigger pine cone there. Since we played the demo last year, the optimization for this is also a lot better now. Not that it was actually bad the first time I played it around, but it feels a lot more smoother. More optimized this time too. The character models as well do seem a lot better, which you'll soon see. In particular, the face area. Yee. The face area of the characters, which I felt was a little bit too uncanny valley the first time around. See about speeding up through here. Now, the demo that we played all involved the Nakin, if I'm correct. Just kind of like a musical creature of lakes and ponds that apparently draws you in with music and then devours you whole. But we're not going to be dealing with the Nakin here with this uh, internal build preview. There's a different creature. Which we'll eventually get to. Hmm. This is interesting. Different perspective changes too. I'm liking some of the creativity they're taking with this uh, build here. Box of matches. Oh, there's a key. Okay, we got a key, but I don't think there was uh, some more to check out here, right? Like carved wooden figures. Could it be a carving of her sister? Oh, we picked it up. We do have some platforming as well. In the Knack and Pond demo, it was a little bit more, uh... Okay. It was a little bit more, uh, platform-based, at least part of the level that he showed off. Here, not so much as yet. Down it is. And we do have the cliched light at the end of the tunnel here. If you want to start surmising theories about this. A light in the dark. A symbol of hope. A spot. 
spark of courage. Another cool thing that was like very evident when I did the uh, Nakin demo, Nakin Pond demo, was that like the environment affected how our kid looked. So if it was like a muddy area, you'd start seeing like, you know, his clothes pile up in dirt. Kind of hard to tell if that's happening here with this one because it's dark. Beautifully. Hmm. What a strange rock. Light as a feather. She investigated closely. <gasps> Let us play, little brother. Lillamore bubbled. See if you can knock down this pine cone. But I mean, why do I want to hurt the pinecone people? Just throw it right there. Oh, it's not going to return to me? <laughs> I'm just going to cheat and basically do it up front so there's no way I'm going to miss. You hit sister, you're wondering? I mean, we could... Oh. Am I getting tricky now, huh? We could find out. Hold up. Can I hit sis? Yes, I can! <laughs> Love it. I mean, she doesn't react to it, but the fact that you actually, you know, literally bounce it off of her is pretty great. What? Oh, you want it now? You sure about this? All right. Oh, that's no good. Oh, you saved it. Good. <laughs> yeah, it's no good. I was gonna say, there's a bit of a Disney-ish, like, you know, Frozen, like a Disney type of style to the character, or at least the sister. Feels like a bit like Frozen, Elsa, I guess. Now, keep in mind what just happened right now might not be, we might not be picking up here right now from what just went down. As I've mentioned, it's supposed to be like a very fragmented internal build, so, you know, you don't really understand what the story is just yet. So we fell with her sister, we're apparently now Julia solo. wished he could stay in the warm light of the library. But he knew that he needed to reach the mountain and find Lilimur. Yeah, I think that basically... Certifies it right there. You want me to go through here, huh? Suddenly, he heard a familiar voice. Follow me, little brother. I will protect you. I somehow doubt that. I feel like this game is all about, you know, giving you, like, false hope. Giving you that siren call which you follow and basically find some terrible things at the end of the call. Of course. How is this creature? Oh, 
It's a boss fight. <laughs> it's, a, it's a boss fight. Uh, let's get behind this tree. What am I doing here? Attacking you? No. Chill, chill. But those things are protecting her. What is she doing now? Get behind a tree. Oh, there's a wave attack too. Okay. She's doing it again. Oh, no, 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 no. Tree. Can I hit you from here? Oh, let's go. What is happening now? Oh. Oh, it's bubbling from the ground. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think I'm getting it. So right hand seems to be the one you can hide behind trees. Same with the wave. And then the other one, it just seems like just run around and avoid. How many of these bodies are there? There it is, it's coming again. It's right hand. Or left hand, I should say. This is tree. Get behind tree. Get behind tree. Oh, let's go. So, if anybody is familiar or Nordic mythology lore, please, by all means, shed light on what this creature is. Go. Oh, there's more bodies now. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, okay. So, new attacks, new attacks, but some old ones, too. Is that wave? There's a body like in this tree up to the right of me. Get behind tree, get behind tree. Oh, I can't get it. The angle's too bad. Although. So there's one right here. I'm literally behind the one that I'm at now. There's one far off. Let's wave. Behind tree. This is a wave. Okay. This is the one that you keep running, and don't get yourself impaled. Oop. Down. Let's go. Oop. Hopefully there's not a timer on this. Yo, what is this? Death Stranding or what? I have no clue what she's going to raise from above. Yo. Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I meant to hit. Yeep. It's on me. It's on me. Run, run, run. Oh, 
Oh god. This is actually kind of intense. Is it a bam? Is it a bomb? Yeah. It was a race. Chill, chill, chill. Oh, I get it. Keep moving. It seems like there's two more, right? If she would chill, we might get him right now. Oh, let's go. Third time's a charm. Yo, my dude is going hard. And that is all. Oof. As I've mentioned, this is the reason why this is one of my most looked forward to indie games for this year easily. Now, this apparently right now has a tentative release date of late April. So we're actually not too far away from it. We're actually quite close to it now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this one. Let me know if you'd like to see more, especially when the full game is out. Maybe we do an entire playthrough. We'll see. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. All the information for Bramble will be down below in case you want to keep an eye on it yourselves. I'll catch you next time.